tend to think of cars in either premium or volume terms. Here, though, is one that could comfortably fit within either definition, the 8th generation Volkswagen Passat, usefully improved in this updated form. Though targeted at the mainstream part of the medium-range Mondeo Class D segment, it's long had an appeal stretching beyond, up towards the premium mid-sized executive saloon class. Global buyers like that, and the result is a worldwide favourite the Wolfsburg maker simply can't afford to get wrong. Hence the subtle changes made to this enhanced B8 series design, which include improved engineering, extra driver assist technology, updated media connectivity and smarter looks. Volkswagen is very good at creating a premium driving experience. It always has been with the Passat. So it is perhaps appropriate that the revised version of this 8th generation model was the first car in the company's range to showcase a whole new generation of media and active driving assist technology. The car's latest travel assist system now allows level 2 partially autonomous driving at speeds of up to 130 miles an hour and the adaptive cruise control system is now predictive meaning that it can anticipate and adapt to road conditions before you reach them. All of which clues you up for what you're in for here, a driving experience that in every way is prioritised towards laid back comfort exactly as a typical Passat user would want. Refinement and ride quality are difficult to better in this class, even if you're stretched to a contender with a posh premium badge. The flip side of that is that no version of this car is able to offer up a really memorable handling package. Mind you, typical Passat owners would probably be mystified by why such a thing would ever be needed. For them, a model of this kind is there for the journey, not for the way it should be driven. Those who disagree and find themselves in search of a car in the mainstream part of this sector will find that a Mondeo or a Master 6 will better suit their needs. Even if you're minded to prefer a car of that sort, it's also worth trying this one, for its other attributes are telling. On a typical British B road, this Passat just flows beautifully. Yes, there's a touch more body roll than some rivals exhibit, but for the most part, it's expertly disguised by a supple, languid rhythm that soon has you covering ground in a quick, safe and relaxed manner, aided by accurate, if not especially fearsome, steering. Engine-wise, two key changes have been made to this revised model, with perhaps the most significant being the introduction of the Wolfsburg brand's latest Evo series 2.0-litre TDI 150PS diesel engine, a unit that, when paired to the DSG 7-speed auto gearbox that most Passat buyers want, is capable of 55.2 miles to the gallon on the WLTP combined cycle and up to 106 grams per kilometre of any DC-rated CO2. That's in a saloon model. The other key change relates to the petrol electric plug-in power plant used in the GTE model that we're trying here, which now gets a larger 13 kilowatt hour battery, enabling a 30% longer all-electric WLTP rated driving range of up to 36 miles. The Passat has never been a trendy follower of fashion. Rarely has this model ever caused heads to turn or hearts to miss a beat. For all that though, it's remained quietly fashionable throughout eight generations and five decades of life, with understated yet sophisticated styling that confidently holds its own in almost any company car park. That's fine for lauding it over volume brand Mondeo market rivals, but it's never been quite enough to lure many buyers away from the premium pavement presence of D-segment models from BMW, Audi or Mercedes. In the future, with the Passat model line, we can expect that to change. And even now, with this lightly revised version of the Mark 8 B8 series design, there are signs that Volkswagen is starting to imbue this car with a little more premium DNA. Here at the front, for instance, these smarter LED headlights add extra overtaking presence, and the reshaped lower fog lamps incorporated into the revised bumper look more sophisticated. The lightly updated radiator grille exudes a more polished presence too, its purpose being to emphasise the car's width and with the swept back windscreen and low bonnet line create a lower, wider and more expensive look. 
It's at the rear that this revised version of this 8th generation Passat is most clearly identifiable as an updated model. These restyled LED tail lamps are noticeably different and rather classier than those that featured on the original version of this design. Time to take a seat in the rear. Now, if you're familiar with the Passat, but for some reason haven't yet tried this post-2015 8th generation version, you might be favourably impressed at the amount of space on offer back here, enhanced by the lengthier wheelbase, it was increased by 79mm, and the extra 12mm of width that were incorporated into this B8 series design. It's still difficult to comfortably seat an adult in the middle though because of the height of this prominent raised centre transmission tunnel. But it's a significantly roomier space than it would be in a premium badge D-segment model like for instance uh, this car's Audi A4 close cousin. Finally, let's take a look out back at luggage space which with this saloon version means pushing on this boot mounted Volkswagen badge. Once the boot is open, you'll find that it offers a very decent 586 litre capacity, though bear in mind that this falls to just 402 litres with this GTE plug-in model because of the batteries that must sit beneath the boot floor. Opt for the estate body style that Passat buyers tend to prefer, and you get 650 litres with a conventional engine, or 483 litres if you buy this car in GTE plug-in form. You can fold the rear backrest via these boot roof mounted levers. They only fold in a 60-40 split rather than the more useful 40-20-40 split that you get in a rival BMW 3 Series. But once everything's close to flat, you can potentially increase the boot space of this saloon to as much as 1,152 litres in a conventionally engined model. The estate version is, of course, more spacious still, its boot growing to 1,780 litres in size when the seat backs are retracted with a conventionally engine derivative. For five decades, Volkswagen's Passat has been the quality choice in the medium-range Mondeo segment. It's a model that for many bridges the gap between the type of company or family car they might feel they have to drive, something like a Mondeo or an Insignia, and the BMW 3 Series style compact executive saloon they'd really rather have. You'll need to be prepared to pay quite a bit more than you would for an equivalent Mondeo, Insignia or Superb. And if you're not buying the estate, this saloon body style is significantly less versatile than the hatch format that you get with those cars. The kind of sharp handling you get in, say, a Mazda 6 or in the premium badge models in this sector isn't really on the agenda either. But in compensation, there's supple ride quality, excellent refinement, class-leadingly comfortable seats, and brilliant build quality. All the things, in fact, that an aspiring middle management buyer with long distances to travel is likely to prioritise. This is, in every sense, a car that knows its market. <laughs>